What is going on guys? It is Dodo Dox here and welcome back to the Minecraft journey. We're not going to dilly dally around with big intros anymore because we got to get on with stuff. And basically in the last episode, we got our pickaxes sorted out. We got some fortune enchantments on. However, like I said, it was unlucky lucky because, well, very low. We need diamonds and we're getting a bunch of stuff ready for going into that adventure. Now guys, before we do get into this episode and save long intros, we got we've upgraded the texture pack to a much more cleaner times one two hundred and twenty eight, basically. And the mobs have an update as well. As you can see, they look completely different. Some do. I'm pretty sure every stand up mod looks different, but unfortunately, stuff like pigs and cows remain the same. Good old default cows. Anyway, I'm actually going to do a little bit of slaughtering here after we breed them, of course. You know, it's not that's not to do this wrong. So, uh, take off the shield when doing this. Give these guys a little bit of a read on. We also get XP for it, which is nice. But we need to find diamonds. We are in actual need of diamonds right now. Serious diamonds. Like, we need a lot of diamonds. So, that's what we're going to do. Just get in there. Go on. There we are. There we are. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so they're going to breed. Now, actually, I think we're actually okay to go on an adventure anyway without this beef for the time being. We've got 15 of those, 23 of those. I think we're pretty safe there in that regard. We are going to head down the big cave again. Hence why I'm bringing all this coal with me, because we're going to need it. And any coal I do find on my journey before I enter down would be great. I don't think we're going to find any of that. I've got a bed with me. I've got pretty much all the... I don't need a stick. I don't know why I've got that. Do I need anything else? I do got my bow, but no arrows. That's a little bit annoying. I should probably go and grab those. Oh, yeah. Look how cool this is. We're using shaders as well, guys. I, I put the shaders on minimum settings because I didn't want to go too enhanced with it. But it looks so nice how it looks, actually, by the way. It looks so nice. This is now the official texture part. No complaints. This is the official texture part, okay? You guys can understand that, yeah? You guys are going to understand why I'm using this texture pack and why it looks amazing. Yes. Are we all good in that department? I'm hoping we are because I'm about to go on a huge adventure back into the caves. And I'm yawning. And I don't want to yawn because yawning's boring. Okay. I was looking for arrows. I ain't got any. I've probably killed. I'm not killed enough skeletons. That's fine. We've got two there. So, of course, we're going to head into a cave. Now, I, I was thinking about going a new way like i did last time but this way makes total sense we get down there quickly and then we find an outer cave and then get in that way that's how we're going to do this and i am going to stop myself straight away because i've literally forgotten something we've literally forgotten kind of important thing can you guess what is my number one rule when you're going mining in minecraft bucket of water yeah we didn't have one we completely forgot one that's literally what we forgot right now. So let's grab that. There we go. Bucket of water should be on the inventory as well. Axe is main major importance. We could easily put it on when we need it, but it's not. It's it's a substitute secondary. An axe. A bucket of water is essential. It needs to be on the hot bar. Right. Anyway, we're heading down now. I think it's gonna get very dark down here because we're playing in shaders, so but it does look cool. And that's all that matters. And of course we should probably minor this. There you go. Oh, look at that. That's what enchantments do, ladies and gentlemen. That is what enchantments do. It makes coal bearable to mine. And that is what we want. Bearable coal to mine. Very nice. This looks too nice. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to literally go mad over this texture pack for the next hour or so. Or whatever, half an hour that I record of this. Because, I'm sorry. It's too nice. And you're about to see something pretty, pretty cool. Okay, are you guys ready? So we've obviously been here before. We've seen all this. That's fine. That's not an issue. Woo! Down at the bottom. Now, obviously, light levels are a thing down here. Ah, uh, here we go. That's what the zombies look like. Very different now, aren't they? Pretty awesome. Uh, make sure we lift this all up, obviously. So we're looking for diamonds. Now, we're currently at level minus 12, okay? Are we going to find um, diamonds there? But there is a bit down here that I wanted to explore. Did I get enough iron ore for that? And this is the reason I didn't want to make too many torches, because they do, they do take up your space. Look, look at the space they're taking up right now. 
So we're not going to make any more until we're down to two torches, okay? I feel like that's how we need to do it for, for that sort of control. And we should probably just... Anything we do not need right now should just get put away. Right, okay. Anyway, so... Let's head down into these like big these minor caves because there is a possibility of diamonds down here. And I'm going to use the water to get down there. I also have to be very careful of creepers. But, like I said, there's a possibility of diamonds down here. So let's grow down and we can explore the lower caves. That's the plan anyway. Then we're going to re-grab our water. We can get back up here with blocks. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're exploring. Here we go, guys. This is what's cool about these ores now. What I have managed to do is, as I go further and deeper into these caves, is let some ores stick out like redstone sticks out like that. How cool is that? That's pretty cool because they stick out like a sore thumb. And then you've got, obviously, lots of gold here. Oh, my God. Look how easy it is to mine now, now that we've sorted that issue out. With the, with the fortune and the unbreaking through and the efficiency. Perfect. We're after diamonds. That is what we are currently after right now. Diamonds is our friend right now. We need diamonds quite a bit. Now, this is looking like a dead end. Yeah, it is. It's looking like a dead end. We can't go this way. Ah, uh, annoying. Well, unfortunately, like I said, it's not episode 10 yet. Not allowed to strip mine just yet. So, we got to keep on going through the cave systems. That's all we can do. I'm just going to mine out, though. Because it's easier. <laughs> but I love the way you actually just can't mine out now. You know, like, in terms of, like, the these big caves. You have to find ways back up in other ways. You could still mine out, but it'd take bloody forever, wouldn't it? I'm just making it accessible down there. So that's one cave that didn't really do well. But you know, you have never been. Did I ever go up here? Look at this redstone just sticking out, though. It looks amazing. Oh, look! Is there anything here that I could use from this little chest and furnace? <laughs> cool. Did we ever look down here properly? Did we ever, you know, properly search this place for its wonders? Did we ever go down here, actually, properly? We, I mean, I've missed some diamonds. Oh, no, it's not diamonds. It's... It's squid sticking out. I thought that was diamonds. I thought it was diamonds, but I was wrong. Diamonds should stick out like a sore thumb now, by the way. So I should see them immediately. Like this redstone here, for example. It's pretty cool. I like I like this new uh, texture add-on. Just enhances the texture pack a bit, doesn't it? Makes it a little bit more interesting. And it doesn't lag. And that's the main thing I'm actually happy about. By the way, it does not lag. There's a lot of glow squids down here, though. Now, I never searched this place properly enough because at the time I wasn't prepared, but now I am. Glow squids are awesome and on shaders as well. Like, did we ever search this cave here? I'm sorry for the aeroplane. I have to have my door, my window open because if I don't, it gets so hot in here with the computer becoming a heater pretty much. Did we ever explore past here? The lava's situation is fixed as well, which is nice. The lava, you know, it looks nice now. It doesn't look blotchy anymore. I guess that was an issue with the texture pack as well. But look how better this looks now that I've actually done my research and found a really good one. Okay, let's keep going down here. Because I'm pretty sure that we've missed something. I am pretty sure of it. There's a lava pit down there. You've got a cave that leads off there. Anything else? This looks dark. Maybe missed. No diamonds, though. Yeah, this is uh, going to be very annoying. I can already tell. Try to find diamonds. But they do stick out like a sore thumb. So, there's that. That just goes up. Can I spot anything up there? Maybe it stick out like a sore thumb? No, it doesn't. Oh, come on. I've got to. I've got to find a bigger cave. There's got to be one just like hanging around somewhere connected up. Oh, wait. Wasn't it the other way I was meant to go? 
Oh, what's down there? Uh, nothing. I will go through my torches like it's nothing, by the way. Like, as you can see, I will actually go through them very fast. Up here? Anything up here? Anything lead off to a new area? Oh! Okay! <gasps> oh! Here we go! This is what I'm talking about. Let me get... Oh my god, it's very reflective and dark. It is so cool. Right, now we can actually see Claire underwater. Can you see any spikes? Because that's what the diamonds would look like. This is where we're going to find what we're looking for, though. This terrain, man, is so nice. It's a proper lava cave, this, as well. Look how nice the lava looks, by the way. Definitely give this a bit of a light. Ho, 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 ho. It's excellent. Now, mobs are going to be able to spawn on this. So I'm just making a path. Pretty sure this is all water, isn't it? Yeah, that's all water. It's a water cave. But this is like a possibility now of it leading somewhere, you know? Also got to watch out for mobs, as always. Some lapis there, not what I want. Oh, that redstone doesn't stick out. Oh, it does kind of. It's just very subtle. They're not all going to be sticky out. This is so cool, though. This is so cool. Oh, look, I'm finding a way back up. This leads back up. And then we go down again. Holy shit, this cave is massive. I mean, can I go wrong with more iron? Now, do we go that way? into the water or do we go up here and round i like the up here and round strap because this looks like it could lead to a proper one of those caves you know like um, a deep 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 one the water can be dangerous and so let's grab this lapis anyway that's not a bad idea see we're running out of room now so more torches are going to be needed oh my shaft is there a fucking cave spider spawn around here I would not be surprised, you know, if there was. I wonder if we're going to link up with the other mine shaft. I say we get a screenshot of that lava lava pit. I should have done it before I... Uh... See that? It still looks really good. They are screenshotted. That's one particular thumbnail we could use for the video. Now, do we enter down that mine shaft or do we go down there? Mine shaft has a possibility, though, of something pretty decent. A chest of some kind. There's also another chance of it being really bad, but this is one of those lower mine shafts. That's the cave spider spawner. So we need to be careful around here. You know, I could just block it off. There you go. <laughs> Get me now, bitch. <laughs> and then we could just go around and down. And then get straight to a dead end. Now, these lower mine shafts, I'm assuming, will have better stuff in them. Yeah? You'd hope that would be the case. Oh, wow. I hope I don't get fucking lost. I seem to have gone into one of these smaller caves. 
Oh, that's the spider spawner. Oh, God. Not sure how I feel about this. Not come across any chests. Oh, shit. There's too many spider spawners, man. Oh, this is like amazing right now, to be honest. This terrain, everything about this update, it's just got a whole lot more insane. And the fact that Patrick has managed to... Oh, I can get that spawner. Easy. Ouch. We got company, I, I believe. We have a little bit of company. Hello. Ah, we got a close-up of the new skeleton, by the way. Pretty cool, eh? A little bit creepy. I think I'm lost. I'm very much lost. Like. Where the hell have I gone? You know? In terms of where I was. It's a bit insane, isn't it? <laughs> well, I've gone too deep now. I'm sort of just like completely gone lost. By the way, this is dying very fast because it's not meant to be used for this. I really could do it with some diamonds ASAP. Really could. And they're going to be around here somewhere. Surely. This is a possibility of finding a skeleton spawner, by the way, though. Hello. I'm surprised I've not come across a chest. Oh, as soon as I say that, there's one right here. Don't mind me, I'm literally lighting up this entire mine shaft. Don't want to get sneaked up on at all. Please be diamonds. Oh, it's not. There's a name tag. But there's no diamonds. <laughs> You're fucking kidding me right now. Do, do diamonds not spawn in the ship, the mine shafts anymore? Um, I honestly don't know what to expect. If this is actually a spawner or not. Yep. So one thing I hate... Oh, that looks like a big cave there, actually. Hang on, what? Deep slated. Coal? Has that been added? Never seen deep slated coal. Where am I? Oh my god, I've come full circle. That's actually kind of good, in a way, because it means I can go back. If I, I know where I am now, which is like... That's not too bad, I guess. Didn't know there was this big mine shaft below. Oh, yeah, it was the underground mine shaft I didn't want to explore because I thought it would be too dangerous and in a minute. So, I mean, I guess this worked out. Oh, you really are. Oh, my God, what are you? Oh, you're a zombie. Holy. I was, like, so confused what you were. Oh, I... I didn't know what to expect there. Is diamonds like impossible now? Like, I mean, look look at the level I'm at. <laughs> I'm just finding none. I'm finding a ton of iron, which I probably should mine to be honest. But like diamonds. <laughs> Becoming a bit of an issue. I'm slowly being driven into madness by the no diamonds. 
So apparently there is deep slate coal, but it's like very, very far up as well. We can't go wrong with mining a bit of that. It's a shame I didn't get on breaking on this pickaxe. Would have been better. Oh my god. Run out of room again. Still no diamonds. I only want diamonds, by the way. That is what I'm actually looking for. And it looks like I'm just not finding any. So. Yippee. Let's go. Let's actually head back because. Okay, that's not spawn of mind. Get some more gold because gold is useful. Believe it or not, gold is very useful. Where are all the mobs, by the way? I'm assuming, the only thing I could assume why there's no mobs around here is because, is that a leaf? What? Oh, it's a lily pad. Yeah, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, the only reason I could think why there's no mobs around here is because of the big caves. Uh, that'd be like my only reason, reasoning behind it. Oh my God. Hey, imagine building a mob farm now. <laughs> it all connects up though. Well, this is about to break. Still don't find any diamonds. Well, we should probably find our way back to that other cave. Did I even remember the way back? This is looking like the way back. Oh, it's looking like a dead end. I will find some diamonds if it's the last thing I do. Oh, yes. I love the zombies now. They look so cool. Okay, good. We found our way back. That's decent. I'm glad we. I'm glad we managed to find our way back. We wasted all our torches, by the way, doing that. So, by the way, because I'm not actually that far. Um, I have got no space. Right, let's block me in so I can't die. And then let's... Let's let's actually just put a chest down. And we can come back and get this stuff at a later date. No, I like, like string and bones and stuff. We want to get rid of those. Cobblestone. Like, we don't need any of this now, but I could have it later, maybe. Would make sense. Uh, arrows, I'll need those. Iron, I need gold. I need that, I need that. Um, redstone, I need that. I don't need andesite. Glow inks aren't that important. Coal we're just going to collect and make torches with. And that's another thing, right? Let's not make too many torches now. Let's just go for a stack each time. Go for two stacks each time. That's probably better to do than what we were doing. Just do not have enough gas. But we're not actually trying to collect big things right now. We just want to get diamonds so we can repair our pickaxe. Is that a blue zombie? That is a zombie. Oh, so they like different colours. That's really cool, by the way. I like the way they've done that. It's not just the same zombie. It's like different types every different time. Right, anyway, we'll carry on now because this is looking like a cave with a lot of danger in it. A lot of danger. What the hell? I'm going to keep to the top for now. Right, remember, we have an arrow. We have a bow and arrow that we can use to kill skeletons. That is what it's designed for. Yep, to kill the skeletons. Let's grab it. Maybe we can use it. Hey, dude. How's it going? Get out of here. Or don't. Or do. Yeah. Okay, so we killed that guy. Like I said, we want to keep to the top here because mobs can't do much if we're on top. This is the strangest cave I've ever been in. And I'm just lighting the top up so I can't get dive bombed by anything that's what i mean the train is just insane now like how are you meant to traverse this traverse this should i say you have to be prepared now you can't just waltz in here with an iron pickaxe right there we go see how we've just like completely stopped myself from dying here now when I head down. Is that diamonds? That is diamonds! Oh, yes! 
Yes, 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 yes. Right. We we, we we gotta approach this with torches. That is what we gotta do. Oh yes, yes, yes. Let's grab these and then let's get the hell out. How many? One? Only one? Really? Only one? Four, two, three, and you give me one. Okay, that's better. That's enough to repair it. We got what we needed. We got exactly what we needed. Yes, finally! Oh my god, what an exploration episode this was. Right, let's not overstay our welcome, right? We got our diamonds, let's get out. Okay, let's get out. Let's repair the pickaxe with the anvil. And then we can come back at a later date with a lot more firepower. That's what we're going to do. Okay, we got, we did what we needed to do today. And that is what's important. So let's get out of here. It actually maybe it might be simpler to go through the mine shaft way, to be honest. That, that actually is quicker. It's a quicker way home. So we'll just do that. We'll find that lodge cave again. It. Oh, here we go. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Just jumps off. Right, okay. Anyway. Hang on. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one back. Then we can just enter out of here. Woohoo! I did it. I did it. I got the diamonds. Oh my god. This day is well for once. That's good. It's good to know. So guys, what did you think of the first episode with the new improved Patrick's texture pack? Oh my god. It was good. I enjoyed it. Hope you guys did as well. Let's just get out of here now. Wait, it was just day and now it's night. What? <sighs> It was literally just day a second ago. It's not the end of the world. It's just shaders can be really annoying in, in the dark. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. We're home, sweet home. Guys, I'm just ready to do this. I understand. I'm ready to first sleep, so it's day, and then I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to do it. I'm ready. I'm super ready. I'm absolutely ready to do this. That took so long to find those diamonds. They were sticking out the wall, and that is what matters. And first off, we got all of this to smelt. So with the whole coal that we collected, this shouldn't be too much of an issue. I should probably make a proper furnace soon, actually. I mean, okay, never mind. we got enough already. That's fine. Right. So, let's make some blocks. Three to be exact. I think we can just do it now. There we go. Anvil. Perfect. Boom. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the moment we've all been waiting for, we have fortune. That's good. But it needs repairing. It's so damaged. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's a fixed pickaxe. Yes. Yes. Aha. Victory is mine. <laughs> Victory is mine. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said, this is the new texture pack. Improved Patrick's texture pack. Properly, properly sorted down. Not confusing anymore. You can see diamonds, which stick out like a sore thumb with, that, uh, with those crystals. And uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I think next episode, we're going to have to take a break from mining and do some work on the house and the storage room and stuff. Because we, we can actually mine and do stuff now, which is what we've been wanting to do for ages. So we're going to do that in the next episode. Get it all nice and sorted. Maybe build a bedroom. Get a nice little properly sorted area out for us. And then we do need to go and do some more mining. But um, we are approaching episode 10 fast. And once we're episode 10, we'll be able to do whatever we want in terms of how to get diamonds. So, yes. It's a very just difficult for myself for some reason. Because it was fun and exciting. But thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.